Okay, we're going to have a look at how to use the keyboard in conjunction with the iTrack dock. Now, uh, as before, we can click home and we can change the style. I'm going to look at a bit of dubstep. Okay, so it's picked the speed. I can change the speed of a light, but it's picked 140, which is the classic tempo for dubstep. If I click open, once again, the lights have gone yellow. <coughs> the controls you see here have automatically mapped themselves to the controls you can have here, which means that if you play around with these, it will make things happen here. Now, if you look at, on your iPad, it might, you might not be able to see it on the video, but if you look at your iPad, you should two, see two little red dots. Okay, that means those 16 buttons there are now represented by these 16 buttons here. So if I want to press that one, and press that one, by the same token, press it again and it will stop. Okay, now that I've pressed a pad, it will always stay in time. So if I click it, it'll, there we go, it'll always wait till the start of the bar. The reason it does that is so that when you, when you start adding other things, So you can see the idea. It will do it always in time and it will make it work. Now if I want to do a different bunch of 16 pads, so if I want to do these middle ones, I just need to look on the arrow buttons at the right hand side of the keyboard and press down. And then I've, I've now got those ones and press down again, I've now got the, the two middle ones. So if I press that button now, I will make that pad load up. Okay, you see the idea. So again, I can use these now instead of the iPad. The idea is the iPad, although it contains all the sounds, you can do the entire performance from here, but there is more that you can do. And we're gonna to come to that in the next bit.